Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney damage control. Maybe it's another daily dose of Dismal Disney, but it looks like Walt Disney World has added footage of Walt Disney into their show. Is this damage control? Because there's been a lot of talk about Walt being removed from mm -hmm. the parks. And from the Walt Disney Company. And from the Walt Disney Company. And this seems like their attempt to try to mitigate some of that damage control. Now, this is Disney World. Of course, it was uh, it was Disneyland that cut Walt Disney's speech mm -hmm. for the first time this year during the, uh, the anniversary. And there was a lot of backlash. Um, but Disney World seems like they're trying to be like, oh yeah, hey, we, we still love Walt Honest, at least for the 50th after that. Well, wait, that. wait, there's, this is weird. We're going to get into it here in a minute. Okay, you, you're going to have to tell I am going to lead because I, I, I wrote this. But before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We cover Disney a lot, having worked in and around the company for a number of years. Uh, we're at over 274, almost 275,000 subs. Uh, we'd like you to join us and also check out our campaign on Indiegogo. We're taking pre-orders for the Crimson Ren graphic novel. It's going to be a hardcover graphic novel, full color, over 130 pages. Uh, kind of a classic 1980s feeling story mm -hmm. uh, done in animated style and looking forward to publishing that. Uh, okay, piratesandprincesses.net. Oh my God, what an awful site. Yeah, they're horrible. They, they just hate Disney. Yeah. They hate Disney. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Walt Disney World adds Walt Disney footage into the Enchantment Show. Is this damage control? You tell me. I don't know. Okay, so what's going on is last night during Disney's Enchantment, um, they added two more minutes to the show involving Walt Disney, Roy Disney, and Mickey. And it's a nostalgia, two minutes of nostalgia bait type thing. Right. Um, here's what's weird. The Disney Enchantment show opened at the anniversary, so it had been like October 1st of last year. Last year. So here we're almost a year later, and it's almost the 51st, 51st anniversary, and we are just now getting Walt and Roy added to this castle show. Hmm. Now, that what's weird is the timing. But why I think it's damage control, and I'm going to say that's flat out what I think it is, is this is, comes after last month's anniversary at Disneyland, where they've always had like Walt, they run the Walt opening speech and they cut it out from the Disneyland thing and people were pissed. Yeah. And yeah. then there's been rumors going around that they're trying to take Walt off of the Walt Disney World. Now, to be fair, on that one, I can kind of understand it because most people just call it Disney World. They don't call it Walt Disney World. They, for majority of people, it's 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 Disney World, and it, it it lines up more Disneyland. Like now, they're not calling it Cinderella and Snow Sleeping Beauty Castle. It's it's Fantasyland Castle. They're trying to 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 homogenize this stuff more. There's so many jokes in there. Yes, I know. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, no, that that's that's true. Um, you know, a lot of people having problems with Walt Disney, I think because of his politics, his personal politics, that, you know, he was a conservative. Believe it or not, Walt Disney was a conservative. He, his speech was pro-American. It was very flag-waving. It was like, Merca, Merca, Merca and Mickey. And, you know, for the longest time, the Walt Disney Company was thought of as, like, as American as apple pie, as baseball, mm -hmm. as, you know, and now that they've got this global audience and, you it's know. It's not even about the global audience. It's about them. It's about the, this is about Twitter. And it's, people, yes. people like it. I was getting to that part. Like, they the They're all like, we want what? socialism. Yeah. We want, the military's bad. Okay, and I'm so, like, well, thank the military for being allowed to have an opinion. Okay. So Walt Disney was, yeah, he was flag waving American. Uh, he was very much, you know, for American ingenuity. Uh, he also hated communists. <laughs> He hated commies. Uh, he tried to get them uh, kicked out of his company. He tried to rat them out um, during the Red Scare. Uh, he had an ax to grind with his employees who tried to unionize. Um, and that keeps coming up again and again and again as more Disney employees are trying to unionize and more and more of them seem to be socialists that, oh, yeah, Walt didn't didn't like our, our kind I mean, very I don't much. Agree. I don't agree with the, some of the things Walt Disney did. I really don't, but I don't think that what they're trying to do now is okay either. No, purging Walt Disney from the Walt Disney Company is just like, it's the most disgusting thing. Well, it, they've been called out for it massively. Yeah. Fans are really yeah. pissed, especially when they took uh, his opening day speech at the Disneyland anniversary. Mm. So now what are they going to do? They have bad image. There's a rumor going around they're going to change the Walt Disney World to Dis Disney World. And honestly, I don't think that's for a nefarious purpose, but... 
Um, everybody, people are worried they're trying to take Walt out of the Walt Disney Company. So what do you do? You shoehorn Walt and Roy, which I do think Roy doesn't get enough credit. And, and I, I agree with putting Roy in there. Yeah. You shoehorn Walt and Roy into the, the, the almost year old projection show in the castle, like way after the fact, I guess better late than never. Better late than never. Oh no, we still like Walt, honest. Right, honest but the timing's you. weird. Why didn't you do it at the 50th anniversary? You cut him out. You didn't put him in the 50th anniversary, but now you're adding him in after all the backlash? It's a yeah, little bit weird. You would think on the actual 50th anniversary, on October 1st, mm -hmm. that they would have made damn sure they had an intro from Walt Disney. That's when this show debuted. Yes, and we wait almost a year to be, oh yeah, there's a little backlash. You know, the thing is, they prop... Look over there. It's Walt. They probably, yeah, One Man's Dream is actually one of my favorite things. Yeah, so it is pretty cool. I love, I love it. It's not called that now. It's Walt Disney Presents now. Yeah, it's just a commercial. Movie. They're allowed to say One Man's Dream now for whatever. Oh, because <laughs> we're all dreamers. No, because it's, we're it, all dreamers. it's not just Walt. It wasn't just Walt. Well, true. It wasn't, it wasn't just, just Walt. Walt no. But if there was no Walt, none of us would have dreams. That's right. Damn it. He's a Sandman. He's the Sandman. <laughs> That's why we're living in a nightmare dystopia now, because Walt Disney's dead. No okay. game and knew it. He was just he trying did. to warn us. Anyway. Um, yeah. anyway. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, they wait until, you know, it's They're convenient. Fed. It's just awfully convenient timing. And they're going to argue it has nothing to do with that. But if this was what they always intended, and when you had the 50th anniversary celebration, and you do a 50th anniversary nighttime spectacular projection show fireworks, you would have put him in as a prominent fixture then. Doing it now just smacks of, oh shit, we're getting called out, hurry quick, or they're just going to soften the blow before they change the name to Disney World. That could be. It could be like, we're going to take one last look at the past. Okay, well, Walt's gone, so Splash Mountain. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I'm, I'm saying that we're going to change it. We know we're going to change it. People are pissed. They think we're trying to erase Walt Disney, so we'll make sure we make him a prominent feature in the show so that we can change it to Disney World, but say, but we're not getting rid of Walt. Well, I just don't worry. Look, we put him on the castle for two months. Two whole months. And yeah. It proves it. It proves it. We're we not giving tribute. We're giving tribute. Oh, and yeah, we're closing down um Walt Disney Presents because um 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 reasons. But we need an, we need IP there. We need a new IP, yeah. That's um but then what they'll do is they'll they'll shamelessly uh you know sell Walt Disney merchandise and memorabilia. I mean, they always do that. Like he'll become he'll become nostalgia bait. In the parks. Well, that's what this is about. You know, he'll become nostalgia bait. Like, oh, yeah, get your Walt Disney D23 collector pins, and here's your Disney Dream this and Disney that. Well, here's the thing. D23 is coming up in the beginning of September, and if they're going to make an announcement like we're changing the name of Walt Disney World to Disney World, they're most likely going to make it during D23. I would make that announcement at D23 behind about three inches of plexiglass. Because I don't think it's going to go very well. remember how well it went when they said they were changing the auction scene in Pirates of the Caribbean? Could you imagine how well it's going to go if they get up on stage and say, hey, by the way, we're just changing we're our names to the Walt. Disney Company or Disney Disney World. It's Walt Disney World's Disney World now. Disco. Disco. Yeah, we should call it something like that so they all are under the same branding. Disco East and Disco West. Disco. Disco. Oh, that yeah, and Epcot, yeah, Spaceship Earth, we're calling it the Disco Ball. <laughs> Isn't it fabulous? Watch it sparkle. The yeah. new mascot isn't Mickey. It's Disco Duck. <laughs> Disco Duck. Oh, my God. Okay, so Mickey Mouse Disco is one of the greatest albums ever start. made. I knew you shouldn't have said anything. Ever made. Ever. There was actually, he really loves this. I think um, it was my first album when I was a kid. I got Because they used to advertise on TV all the time. That's how old I am. I remember. You have TV. it. I have we it. We bought it for you. Love it. I used to. Oh, my God. I love it so much. Um I do. It's got zippity doo dah on it. You know, they can't have well, that. Well, they took it out of Tokyo now, too. Oh, my God. Anyway. The, the song, yep. But it was a really cool version of zippity doo dah I do remember as a kid, even back then, I didn't know what that was from. Because even back in the 80s, they were they were kind of purging songs. No, themselves. I, they ran it. They brought it back. Well, they showed I do clips. remember they brought it back. I, I went to see it. They brought it back in the theater, I think, in like 86 or something. But I remember thinking, you know, I was, I was pretty young then, but I was like... Oh, that's what that's what Zippity Doo Dah is from. Because I had no idea what it was from. I just knew it was on the the Mickey Mouse mm. Disco album, which you know was 
excellent. You really need to pick up a copy of it. Uh, but there's a whole documentary on Mickey Mouse Disco. Well, where I lived, it was Defunct so so oh, Defunct Land. They I think Defunct Land did. I think I think it was Defunct Land. Hmm. I uh, I uh, was so we were so terrible where I was from that back when they released in the theater that they rented out the high school auditorium and all the elementary kids were allowed to go that night if they wanted to go and my cousins and my siblings and I were taken to go watch it. How dare we? Um, they, the school sanctioned it. Sanctioned school sanctioned racism. <laughs> um, I never saw it until I was older, um, and I saw like a bootleg copy. I, I used to work on the comics, believe it or not. I used to work on the Song of the South comics. Uh, of course, you did. Cause you're a terrible person. I'm you're, a terrible person. They were huge in the Netherlands. You're a sassy chud. How dare you? I'm a sassy chud. I'm a sassy chud who loves. Yeah. You know, uh, no, I used to work on. I used to work on the comics. I, I loved working on Brer Fox. Burger, but they were the ones that were about the animal stories, not about. Yeah, they they were huge. So that's they weren't the, about like the whole. Neither is the it? ride. The I, ride I know. literally is just the animal characters, and in the Netherlands in particular, uh, those comics are very very popular. But it has nothing to do with Uncle Remus. They just use those characters, mm -hmm. and they don't have any of the human characters. They never talk about slavery or you know, civil war or any of that jazz. It's just here's some funny animals doing funny animal but, stuff. But the are where these people on Twitter want they want the country to be like they say. Yeah. Anyway, they love it. They don't understand. I remember actually being on a, a Disney message board and uh Song of the South came up and people were like, we don't understand why it's such a problem. Yeah, and well. there were some people on there, and this is like 15 years ago, and they're like, Well, of course you wouldn't, because you're in another country. But it really is offensive. To you some put of the cunning country. country. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they were completely confused. And then they eventually had to close the thread because they're like, we love Br'er Fox. We love Br'er Bear, you know? Um, I don't know. You know. But um, yeah, so I don't know. But I, I'm waiting because if, if, if I were to bet, if they were going to make any drastic announcements of changes, it's going to be at D23. Oh, yeah. And that's coming up. This gets shoved in now. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, hurry, appeasement, distraction. And then D23 is coming. So if they're going to make an announcement about Disney World being Disney World, not Walt Disney World, they're going to do it probably then. Did, did you notice what's missing from the Disney World logo? Well, there you go. Disney World. No world on it. Hmm. Well, of course, originally it was going to be called Disney World. Right. And Roy made the decision to dedicate it to Walt. Uh, and that's going to be their defense when they drop Walt from the Right. And to be yeah. fair, I, I honestly, I'm not offended by them just calling it Disney World because I don't think that, to me, it's not like, oh, they're trying to get rid of Walt Disney. Um, it was originally going to be called Disney World. No, Everybody yeah. refers to it as Disney World. That's more concerning, the fact yeah. they didn't they eliminated him from Disneyland. Uh, it, I'd be more upset if they take Disney Walt Disney off of the company name. They make it the Disney company. That's where I'm going to be like, oh, hell no. But everything, you know, I can understand why they call it Disney World. Yeah, I can totally see them just calling it the Disney company, though. I, I totally can see them doing it. And they're, like I said, God help you. If you make that announcement at D23, you better have some plexiglass. Um... Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a disaster. You better have your vaccinations up today. <laughs> yeah. Your tetanus, your rabies. Your rabies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, your pixie dust and yeah. vaccinations. Have an escape hatch ready. Like, it's going to be awful. Uh, anyway, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.